Well-organized weed control can be very beneficial to a farm. Badly done, it can have a detrimental effect. Some weeds are needed in the orchard, while others you really don't want. Let's have a look at how to control weeds in the orchard. Too many weeds will provide competition to the tree for water and nutrients in the soil. Uncontrolled weeds can also block off the water spray from microjets and prevent the irrigation system from doing its job. A lot of weeds, as well as having the wrong type of weeds, is very detrimental to an orchard. However, a bare bunkie with no weeds is also very detrimental. You can't build up the organic content in the soil, the soil is exposed to erosion, and the increased heat in the soil will kill off microorganisms. So it's a balance between enough weed and not too much weed. And it's not that easy to manage. There are some very bad weeds that you don't want in your orchard. Weeds such as Paspalum, Tall Flea Bane, Kikuyu, Fain Quirk, Morning Glory and others will steal water and nutrients from the fruit tree. They are very competitive and everything should be done to eradicate these hardy perennial weeds. Then there are the good weeds such as finger grass, wild radish, pigweed, sorrel, white clover and others. These weeds actually build up organic material in the soil and do not compete greatly with the trees. We want to keep the good weeds and get rid of the bad weeds in the orchard. Weed killers are known as herbicides. Having determined which weeds are in the orchard, one can decide on a weed killer program for the farm. The herbicide is sprayed onto the weeds below the canopy of the tree. The center aisle is never sprayed unless there are hardy perennial weeds one wants to eradicate. Generally, weeds are quite welcome to live there. Tractors are constantly riding up and down the aisles and you'd have dust problems if there was no ground cover. The industry generally uses two types of herbicides, contact and systemic herbicides. A contact herbicide kills the weeds on contact. It burns the weed off at the knees and therefore contact herbicides are known as scorches. They're toxic to man and should be used with care. Then there are the systemic herbicides. A systemic herbicide is taken up by the weed and kills the weed from within. There are some very good systemic herbicides on the market. They kill the weeds but are also very environmentally friendly and most are reasonably priced. However, the farmer should be careful that he does not use one herbicide all the time as the weeds can develop a resistance to it. Ideally, herbicides should not be applied more than three times a year. The first application is usually done in spring when the weeds become very competitive with the plant for water and nutrients. A Christmas application is quite common and a post-harvest spray is recommended. To summarize, one should use the right product for the right weed at the right time. A well-kept orchard is a pleasure to see, while uncontrolled weeds can be an eyesore and could affect production.